I can, like, finish up the eye together, okay? It was at this moment Jackson knew. He fucked up. Hello, friends, and welcome back to my channel. It's Skeleton Cool. Um, today, I'm gonna keep it very short and sweet, or sweet and short, I don't know what the order is. Because uh, I realize I talk way too much and babble too much during my intros and stuff, so I'm trying to keep it short, you know. Um, so, we're gonna do a second installment in my Palette Infinity series with the Arcana Palette. So, um, yeah. Um, that's about it. Before we get started, if this is your first time here, let me introduce myself. Hi, my name is Armand. I love cruelty-free makeup, skincare, and the Netflix series called Special on Netflix. It's, it really goes in there, and I'm, I'm still very overwhelmed with feelings when I think about it. So I'm not going to speak about it too long. But if you enjoy any of these topics, hobbies, whatever you want to call them, then feel free to subscribe for more similar content. I would love to have you. Let's get started with the makeup tutorial thingy. Cool. Um, before we do the makeup, let me break down what my idea of a look is. Uh, I would like to dip into um, these greens because I think they're so beautiful and very deep. Um, so my idea is to make like a halo eye situation where we could use Entity, that yellow we used last time, as a transition shade again and use Darkling, that, that deep uh, green matte to deepen things, then use Alchemy as like a shimmer in between Darkling and the center of the lid, and Ka Kalis, I don't know if you say Chalis or Kalis in English, because in French it's Kalis, which is also a swear word in Quebec, because I, I, I lived in Quebec for six months, so I'm sorry I just said a swear word for my Quebec followers. Sorry about that. Carlis. Anyway, Chalice, Carlis, that deep golden uh, yellow, obviously. Um, so, yeah, uh, does that sound like a decent plan to you? I mean, you can't really help me, can you? Which is really a shame because I wish you were here to help me, to be honest. But uh, that's what I want to do today. So, yeah. I feel like my hair is still very bobby, which I, I wish it was more like thinner and more like choppy and I don't know how to describe it. Maybe choppy is not the right word, but I wish it was more like, you know, more like yes, because I feel like I look a bit like I want to speak to manager or something. Or that I'm about to pick up the children after school, after filming this, so it's not quite the vibe I want to go for. But anyway, <laughs> we're here. From my eye with the uh, Urban Decay. From a potion, Eden, etc. I'm gonna do one eye at a time. Because I've been enjoying that. I've, I didn't think I would, but I do. Um, while I'm here, I'm gonna also prime my face with the Elf Pretty Primer. I like priming my face uh, before I do my eyes. Because then it kind of like gives time to sink in and I can like wipe off whatever work I did with like a, a can run with a bit of primer. It's a tip I learned from Robert Welsh. Um, I'm gonna grab a brush from Sigma E38 diffuse crease. It's like a big fluffy brush. And I'm gonna pick up uh, Entity, which is the yellow. Use that as a transition shade, as I mentioned before. I'm gonna start applying it in like the outer corner, pack it on the lid and kind of I blend it out from there. It needs to go everywhere, so I don't need to be super precise with that. I just want the intensity of the color to be around the lid and then it kind of like diffuses out. So kind of creating, you know, that halo shape, so kind of a circle shape. I love this color. What I love about this yellow is not super, super bright because 
a lot of kind of mustardy yellow, they very much kind of more yellow than the mustard, and then I'm more on the mustard side. I'm really into like muted neutrals, which is why I think I really like this palette because you've got a lot of these. Anyway, I'm gonna pick up like a, a small blending brush. This is the E27 from Sigma. It's like, it's, it's the same as the E25, but it's smaller. I'm sorry, I forgot to draw you closer. Let me just do that. All right, love, that's pretty bad. So as I was saying, um, so I'm gonna pick up an E27, uh, which is like a smaller version of the E25, which is like a flat blending brush. Uh, I'm, I really love these brushes. If you have like small lit space like I do, hooded eyes, I absolutely recommend getting like, they got um, like a bundle with them, three of the blending brushes and like smaller versions of them. Uh, I absolutely love them. Anyway, picking up Darkling on that E27, which is the deep green. And I'm gonna place that onto the uh, outer lid and then kind of pack it and then blend it. I'm starting by reconcentrating and placing that color and then I work on blending it after because I don't want it to get everywhere. I just want it to be an accent. And then I'm gonna start blending, doing some very, very tiny circle. Try and diffuse it, but keep it concentrated. I'm gonna connect the center as well. Now that's blended, I'm gonna just go back with a bit more and just reinforce where I placed the color originally, because it went a bit patchy because of the blending. I'm now gonna pick up like a small flat packing brush, a tiny, tiny little one. I'm gonna pick up some glitter primer, as usual. Again, the reason why I use glitter primer with these is I think they're very pretty shimmers because they're very deep and the dual tone. I find that it's better to have a bit of help and give them a bit more of a base using a glitter primer. I tend to use glitter primer with most of my shimmers unless I really want a very diffuse look. Taking a little doll up, I'm gonna start in the center of the lid and then kind of when I have less product, go into the green to kind of diffuse it more. Going quite far up into my crease. I'm now gonna pick up Alchemy, the green shimmer, which is like a jade color with the same sticky side. And then I'm gonna place it on like, as I said, on each side of the lid, but not on the center, cause that's gonna be the gold. Oh, wow, that's... Mm. I love an emerald green like this. I'm gonna now pick up Callis Chalice, the gold, and pop it in the center. I placed the gold into like, um, like I made it a bit wider at the top to kind of like emphasize more of that almost cut crease I've got. Um, I kind of create the illusion of a bigger eye. And now I'm gonna kind of alternate with both sides of the brush to kind of merge these two colors together. And I pick up a bit of heat shimmers to kind of help blend them as well. I think I'm okay with that, I'm not obsessed with that. Um, I'm gonna go into some more darkling, which is the deep green here. Um, I'm gonna just kind of transition between the emerald green and that green. Cool, and um, also once I complete um, the lower lash, so I'm just gonna repeat that on the other eye, do some face makeup, and then we'll come back and like finish up the eye together, okay? It was at this moment Jackson knew. He fucked up. I'm so sorry, I just realized I had pushed away my mic, so the sound was pretty bit crap for a moment. <sighs> anyway, see you in a bit. Hello back, I really like my face makeup today, so happy with that because I haven't been, I don't know, recently I haven't been super in love with my foundation combo, but um, yeah, I quite, I quite like it today because it has a bit of luminosity even though it's powdered, so yeah. The eye look is growing on me. I think it would look better with other gold, but I just, I really, I didn't want to do something extremely predictable and easy. But if you just put the emerald shade 
I love a Yule, it would be like stunning. Anyway, let's just finish up the eye. That's gonna be a really, really easy one, I think. I'm just gonna smoke out some yellow and a little bit of uh, the green, and I think that might be it, unless I come up with something else. Let's have a look. I typically don't really like doing a different color on. Well, <laughs> my eyes have this very kind of close shape. I find that not making the same color, not repeating the same color combo as on the top, it doesn't open them as much as I like. Um, ooh. At the same time, the Alta color again would be stunning as like almost a draping blush. But I don't know, I think the green is too dark for this, but this is an idea for another time, I think. Taking again my E38 from Sigma, and we're gonna take Entity, which is the yellow here. I'm just gonna. Oh, for fuck's sake, did that go under the bed for real? Fan hair, but clearly I'm not gonna use this because it's just covered in dust. So let's use a different brush. Um, obviously, it's like the perfect fluffy brush, and the only one left clean. <laughs> Cool, let me just grab my E25 entity again from Sigma, sorry, I should specify. And let's smoke that underneath. It's fine if I smoke it already low down because it's quite grungy anyway, so. I think, I guess. <laughs> I'm gonna grab like a little the brush and just use the tip to use dark clean. The, dark green, just smoke that really close to the large line, just gonna stamp it. Make sure to connect it with the upper part, like this. And now smoking out this with my uh, E27 that I used for my top part and just like really lightly without any product, just going over it very lightly to blend it. And now uh, I'm gonna go back with my E25 and just kind of blend the edges. Sorry, I just realized I pushed the camera because I was thinking, well, I'm gonna do my face, so it makes sense to do that. But I just finished the eyes with you far away. Sorry about that. I think I'm quite happy with that. I might reinforce the shimmers after, but first let's do some face makeup. I'm gonna do a good peachy blush for my blush in... This is the Kaleidos Lo-Fi Blusher. Um, unfortunately, they're not available anymore. Hopefully they will bring them back because I really like the formula of these, but I assume it was to kind of make them more inclusive because there were only two shades and they are fairly light. So that's not ideal, but that's my peachy blush. So any peachy blush will work. I'm just picking that up and placing that on my, starting on like the outside of my cheekbones and blending it inwards. I love this blush color. Obviously, let's do the nose as well, concentrating it, kind of in the center here. Um, let's do some blush topper. So I found a way of using uh, the Milani Luminoso which I think is stunning, but it's just way too metallic -y for me. I'm not really into like shimmery blush, but I stayed doing, um, again, something I learned from Madeleine. I've, I've learned a lot recently from her. So using this as like a blush topper. So I started using some of my glowy blushes as blush toppers and it's absolutely stunning. So I think they will, this will complement well the eyes because there's some gold reflecting that one. So taking a little bit, I'm just going into kind of the high point of the cheek. To kind of give a bit of a glow. And I'm gonna also do the tip of my nose. Basically kind of anywhere that I use both blush and highlighter kind of go there. So it's gonna be kind of the nose, the t tip of the nose, kind of going over the bridge as well. The high point here. And yeah, so I haven't used eye but like, you know what I mean. There you go. 
very pretty. So I've got the Alva 2 highlighter palette from Auden's Eye. And there's that gold shade, which is beautiful. It has kind of a pinky reflect as well to it. But I feel like it's gonna be a bit deep for me. So what I might do is mix it up with another highlighter I have, just the one from that Flower Beauty uh, Sculpt Palette. I'm, tr I'm like panning this, so I'm like constantly using this, but it's such a good like base color as well to use. So gonna pick up a bit of both and kind of go over the high cheeks, high points of the cheeks. And I'm just gonna do also my forehead because I'm feeling like kind of a glowy moment there as well. I've, I've really wanted to buy like a, a gold highlighter or most bit the bullet, but I'm really trying to not buy much because I'm kind of on a low buy. But I want to buy either the Pure Cosmetics Afterglow or the Milk Highlighter in Iced, I think it is. But I think actually if I mix these, it works quite well. I like it. Anyway, uh, let's do some inner corner moment. So I'm gonna just use my face highlighter, I think. So these two colors mixed again. Actually, I might just use the Alva 2 directly. Oh yeah. Shall, shall I do like last time and kind of go, just add a little bit over the gold. I might just do that. What the hell, no. So again, picking up the, by the way, the shade is called Gnome. I don't know if I said it. I'm just gonna reinforce the green shimmer because I feel like it's kind of going away a bit. And after that, the green matte, I think. I think I'm pretty happy with that. Um, let's just spray her down. I got my vaccine like a couple of days ago, uh, my first injection, so my arm is still a bit tender. So it's like fine for most things, but I can't really shake things, um, for example. All right, let's pick a lip together. That's what I brought. <laughs> um, I'm not quite sure. I think I've got two strong contender. Uh, I could go with like the classic nude pink. This is truffle from those of colors. Don't think I'm feeling that. Um, with this look. I have uh, a lipstick I got from Colourpop a while ago. This was before I stopped supporting them. That's Take a Pixie. I think it's like a classic kind of terracotta nude. It never looks good on me. I don't know why. I have two from Black Moon Cosmetics. They're from the Autumn Trio. So we've got Cider and we've got Hazel. I think that's right. Yeah. Hazel doesn't look very good on me. I don't think it's going to go with this because it's the green, the green is more of an emerald. Cider could work very well. That's my strongest contender. And the other one, there's a strong one, is Melt um, Ginger. It's like a red, it's like a rusty brown, which I think will work very well as well. Let me line my lip with NYX's um, New Truffle. And let's go in with Ginger. Yes, yes, I think that's what I need. This is perfection. Cool. Mascara and like eyeliner and stuff and I'll be back. And voila, that's the finished look. Um, I just used the black pencil to kind of tat line my upper lash line. The bottom line I just used a nude. For mascara, actually, I use the Uma Beauty Drama Balm. If you're looking for an alternative to the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, which uh, I tried a while ago and I really, really enjoyed, but I don't want to support Too Faced anymore. This is a very, very good alternative. It gives like these kind of very thick, almost borderline clumpy, but in a good way, lashes as looks like fair lashes. I think these are, this is pretty good and you're supporting an indie black owned business. Love that brand. So go check them out. Uh, and yeah, my lips look absolutely huge. I don't know what I've done to it. I feel like each time I use that brown lipstick, they look huge. And I don't know if I accidentally overdraw them with the applicator or what I do, but <laughs> it's fine. I actually, I think the eye look has really grown on me. I just love the whole combination of tones that are like very warm and very like 
autumn and just like slight grungy and I really said but I absolutely love these kind of green tone on me. The emerald green that's probably one of my favorite green colors. Uh, I would love to do just like a little like smoky eye with just the um, there's an alchemy shade all over the bit. Yes, alchemy the green. Anyway, um, very happy with that. So far, nothing to report. These shades just blend beautifully. The metallics are beautiful. I have nothing else to say. I uh, absolutely love this. <laughs> Please let me know what you thought of this look in the comments. And if there's any shade you'd like to see next, maybe on my next look. Uh, the plan is to try and use at least one each of the shades and then see if I can like mix them more in like more unpredictable ways. But for now I'm gonna try and use every single shade first in a look. So yeah, that's the plan. If you want to support me in my channel, you can give this video a like, you can leave a comment, and your engagement is uh, really helping me get more visibility into the YouTube algorithm, so that's very appreciated. If you don't know what comment to leave, you can just leave this emoji in the comment as a way of engaging, and if you do that, well, I really appreciate your effort for that. Uh, by the way, I always put the emoji in the description box so that you can just copy paste it in case you can't really easily input an emoji. So yeah, just be aware of that. I didn't mention it before, but yeah. <laughs> Thank you very, very much for watching and I hope to see you very, very soon. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye.